Aloha, this is Zane Schweitzer. We're here in Orlando for the Surf Expo trade show. And uh, we got starboards surrounding us. Right now, I'm talking about the 7.4 by 26. This is the 2013 uh, My Pro model that I'll be using on the uh, world tour, as well as the 7.7 by 27. Um, the 7.4 is pretty much the 7.7 by 27, just shrunken down a little bit. As you can see, it's 80 liters by 3.5 inches thick and 26 inches wide. So it's just sized down a little bit. And this board is insane, it rips. I'm doing stuff that I, ne I could barely even do on my short board lately. Like full air reverses, wrap around turns. This board's fun for all around surfing. Um, if it's a little mushy or a little under shoulder high, I like to use a 7.7. This board is unreal for more hollow, slabby waves, you know, and um, as you can see, a big change from last year's boards. We have a little less volume up in the nose and the flat deck. This is the best thing about, I love this flat deck. It's so comfortable when you have your feet on there. Instead of the dome that we had before, where your feet are almost, feel like they're sliding off the edge, this is flat, really comfortable, Big change, really nice. Yeah, so up here, a little less volume, a little more of a pointy nose. Um, we flattened out the rocker a little bit and it makes it so much quicker. It's accelerating out of the, out of the cutbacks and all the turns with so much speed. Um, also, as, as you, uh, this uh, isn't, we had uh, the new team rider Izzy on this board this morning. This is my personal 7.4 right here. So I like to use FCS Nexuses on the backs. Ne FCS Medium Nexus. So they look like uh, shortboard fins pretty much. And I like Thruster. That's my favorite setup. So here's my personal board. As you can see, I like I customize it a bit with my own the kind grip pad. I have my uh, a, a kicker up in the front. Everyone asks me, why Why do you have that up there? Well, it's for air reverses and stuff like that. The board's a lot bigger, you're moving around a lot more. And uh, with this, sometimes on your airs, you come down nose picking, meaning you're going up vertical and coming around and going no landing nose first. A lot of the time, you know, just catches it a little bit. So I like it not too much to trip over you can still walk over it and ride the nose you know what over over the years it's been amazing to uh to work with starboard and progress as the boards are progressing uh, a few years ago got to work on um the first 77 by 27 zane schweitzer pro model and from there we've gone so far yes and uh so Pretty much, I mean, it's it, they've, the boards have changed so much. The seven sevens are progressively way more quicker and just all around better and bigger surf. And I love the seven seven. I'm still riding this almost just as much as I ride the seven four. But the seven four is unreal and the more hollow waves and you can just whip it around a whole lot more. So the eight two by thirty two wide point. This board is insane. It's a, uh, you know, we have the 80 by 28 the last few years. Before that, it was the 80 by 26 round nose. So as we're progressing, we're changing the shapes a bit. We uh, we kind of figured that the 80 by 28 was a little too similar to the 77 by 27. This board is 82 by 32, 130 liters. This is the board Dave Muir rides. I don't know if you've ever met Dave Muir, but he's a big guy and he rips this board in Little Surf. He was riding this in France at the Torch and it was pretty much flat to maybe possibly knee high. And it's amazing to see, you know, that he rips and is comfortable on this board. And uh, my brother rides this board as well. He's about around 190 pounds and it's, it's a full on, it's a ripstick. It's comfortable. You could jump on it. You know, even as a small person, just getting into stand-up paddling, this is a great board. A lot of fun, and 
pretty much good for everyone all around surf conditions. As you can see too, there's a lot of nose rocker, so you're not up, so you don't nose dive too much. So there's some nose rocker in there, a little bit more of a pointy nose. You can still definitely nose ride this thing, even though there's more of a nose kick. That is definitely helps out though for some later drops. So this one, since it has such a wide tail base, it really works better with a quad setup. I'm imagining this is gonna be a big seller for a lot of guys who are just getting into stand-up paddling and a lot of the bigger guys, especially, you know, in Hawaii, we got some big boys. My brother, he's a big boy. He rides this thing and rips. I see. Oh, he's dabbling. I seen him throwing tail this morning out here in Florida. We scored some good conditions out here. And yeah, so as you can see, we've got whole, a lot of other boards down the line. By 30 Rocket, a little bit more of a round nose, really good for nose riding, cruising around. It's a little narrower, two inches narrower than the 8.2. Still great board. Jumping up to the carbons. Carbons are always great. So light and efficient and strong. You will, if you buy one of these boards, it's worth, it's worth it because they are so durable, they're so light, easy to throw on your high truck, you know, just throw, put it right above your head, strap them on, and great boards. As you can see too on the carbon boards, we've got new colors for the 7.4, 7.7. This one, we got the purple, blue, green, red, and uh, yeah. We also changed up the grips too, which is really cool. Um, on the grips, we have a diamond diamond kick pad, which is uh, the best, I think, for, for surfing. Getting on the tail, really be able to put your foot up against this kicker right there. We've got another wide point, 10.5 by 32. This is a board that's fairly affordable and the board, a great board that we use at Maui Sports Adventures Surf School um, with my family. It's a little bit more surfable. You could really actually, you know, be a progressive rider and still have fun in the wave surfing. But we teach surf lessons on these boards and it's great because we have people pushing them in surfing, traditional surfing, tell them you're getting up surfing on them, halfway through the lesson grab a paddle, and teach them how to paddle on the same board. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Waterman. M much mahalos to the starboard team here at Orlando Surf Expo. We'll catch you on the water. Aloha.